Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to Oakland Zoo. Thanks for being here today with me. Um, hopefully you're well and looking forward to another episode here. And uh, we're going to be looking at this small gap here. So this is the last exhibit that we'll be putting into our zoo. Um, I've still got more detailing that I want to do. And um, that will be done off camera and then I will do a final episode um, about that sort of a walk through the zoo, that kind of thing. Um, but we need to do this last exhibit here. So last episode we got our lima and badger habitat finished over here. I was pretty pleased with how that one turned out. And I hadn't decided what I wanted to put in here. Um, but I have now decided. And it's going to be the binturong. Uh, which is a, a lovely creature. I've seen them in real life. They are really cool looking things. Um, there's a place near us that have a, a pair of these. And you can actually go in with them and do an, a, an animal experience with them. Which is very cool. You can hand feed them they're very friendly and uh, they just want to climb all over you which is very cool and I like the idea of them uh, going in this gap because it's it's about the right sort of size and um, I fancy doing a nice sort of jungly look because both of the uh, the exhibits on each side are, are quite open so I fancy doing something a bit more um, foliage heavy in here so let's get uh, let's get started. What I want to do is use the existing barriers here to um, hopefully build. Oh, this is a bit too long. Yeah, hopefully uh, build the barrier um, sort of connections onto here. So yeah, that's that's basically what I want. But I'm going to have to do it. Um, Let's have a look. I'm going to have to raise this up a fair bit, I would say. Is that as high as it can go? I think it probably is. I can play around with the land back here. Makes sense um, if I raise all of this. Good, okay. And then I think along the front I will do a cage. Makes sense because you want to be able to see through. And connect it into there. Good. So I'm probably going to have to make all of this special non-climbable stuff, aren't I? Which is a little bit tricky because it's all... See, I think actually if I... Yeah, see that's going to sort of select the whole thing, which I don't really want. Um, okay, let's do it the long-winded way. There we go. And I'm going to need a door. How do I want to do the door? Yeah, over here makes sense, doesn't it? There we go, let's get the door in there. Can the door be non-climbable as well? I think so. Good. Cool, okay. That is a good basic structure, I think. Uh, I guess we should get the animals in. So I'm recording this on Saturday. My last episode actually went out this morning. Hopefully this one will go out tomorrow morning. So, you know, you're getting an episode two days in a row. That's pretty crazy, isn't it? Things are definitely settling down here with the baby. Um, little Poppy, she's doing really well. But, um, you know, obviously still needs a lot of looking after. But we are getting into a bit more of a routine now. So hopefully I will get some more time to come in here and... and play this and other games foundation I started a series of foundation as well and I do want to do other games I'm, I, I really want to get my channel going uh, I want it to take off I want it to do better I want to expand the games that I'm playing um, so yeah I do you know I just want to I want to crack on and really try and get my channel being productive um, which is hard work, you know, I've, I'm, I, I'm not gaining subscribers particularly fast. Um, but I, I don't really know <laughs> how, how to do uh, better at that sort of thing. 
Um, but uh, you know, it is what it is. I, I'm having fun. I'm not. I'm not doing this as a business. Um, although obviously, eventually, it would be nice to, um, you know, make a bit of pocket change from it if that's possible. Um, you know, these things work. It's uh, it's a good hobby to have, but you can dedicate more time to it if it is bringing you a little bit of money now and then. So, yeah, that's my long term aim. I don't ever expect to have millions of people watching my videos, but it'd be nice, wouldn't it, if I could get a few thousand? You know, a few thousand people in the world that enjoy spending a little bit of time with me each day. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? That'd make me feel wanted. <laughs> Here we go. We have our first Binturong. We have Trier. And uh, who do we have? I didn't actually check the names, I'll be honest. Let's see. What else have we got here? Eka. Oh, that's nice. Eka and Trier. Okay, good. Right, let's um, just come into here and get this sorted because I always forget all this stuff. And let's rename this to Binturong. I think that's how you spell it. Is that how you spell it? Whoops, that didn't work. No, I had spelled it wrong. Good job. Binturong. Yes, great. Okay, so what sort of water do we want them to have? I reckon I'd like to put in a little pool at the front here. Um, let's get right up next to the the wire over here. I don't know if these guys swim, but I just want to give them a, a shallow bit of water there like that. It's enough for them to drink and they can kind of dabble in it if they want to, can't they? Not a lot of swimming going to happen, but I don't think they swim anyway. But what they do want is lots and lots of foliage. So what I'm thinking is, let's build them um, some good climbable areas. And then I will put foliage around it, is my plan. Right, let's come in here. Let's get angle snap on. So let's have a look. Let's start with that. I want to, I want to do sort of platforms like this, and then maybe another one of these. Something like that. Let's uh, just bring that one back a bit, like that. And let's uh, let's bring it to the front. I think do I want to slope it down I probably do let's have a look kind of follow the lay of the land a little bit bring it down and then maybe I can go with another one of these let's flatten that off Make it so they can still get underneath it, of course. Yeah, that looks pretty cool. And then let's get back to this. And again, let's angle it. And let's take that right down. Oh, no, it's not quite. Is that quite going to work? Yeah, that's that's all right. I think let's just check that they can actually use that ramp. They can good, so they can go all over that. Brilliant. Uh, okay, obviously these things need some support, so let's. I don't need to go too over the top, but basically what I will do is one in roughly in the middle of each of these. Something like that, and then if I can highlight all of them and simply move them down like so. There we go, we have our basic structure in place. That's pretty cool. Uh, let's get some bedding on. 
at least one of these, probably both of them I would say at the back here. Let's go with some medium bedding. Give them somewhere to lie down. Nice. Now I ought to give them some actual shelter as well, I, I suppose. Um, just wondering actually, I have built various shelters in the past. I wonder what blueprints I've got. I reckon I've probably got something in here that I've built that I can use as a little shelter. I'm sure I did some somewhere. Yes, of course, my African shelter. So this was something that I did in one of my projects quite a long time ago. This was back in, ooh, what would this have been? This was my safari park, possibly, that I did. Um, let's just place that in for a second and see what it looks like. So it, I really like it actually, it, it's going to suit the theme. Obviously I need to extend the legs, I just want to make sure they can't get onto it to climb out. So I've got to make sure that these aren't climbable. Or, uh, yeah, yeah, I don't, I don't think they are. I think that looks pretty good actually because it is sheltering, I think, both of those beds. Maybe if I bring it just that way a bit. Let's just get rid of this angle snap for a second. Let's just line it up with the side wall here. Okay, that looks good there and there. How are we looking from down here? Yeah, actually that is going to look really good, I think. So let's just come in here. Let's highlight those legs. And, and that one. Let's just copy that down. Ah, we've got that one there is, let's just see if I can, yeah, let's just lose that leg. That's fine. Um, what do we think of that one coming up there? I don't mind that actually, that looks fine. It needs that one because otherwise there's too much of it unsupported. Nice. Right, let's just check then that our animals can't escape. No, good, they can't climb it. Oh, actually it says they, <laughs> that's interesting, it says they can climb that middle one. I don't actually think they can. Oh, look at that, just as I say it, look at him shimmying up the middle one. <laughs> okay, that's uh, that's interesting, but it didn't say that he could get onto the roof from it, so hopefully he's not going to go up there. I don't mind that, that's fine. But they are they are uh, they are going to use the bedding by the looks of it, and let's just see if that counts as shelter now as well. Yes, yeah, so all all of that is shelter back there. Fantastic. Cool. I don't usually like to use blueprints, but this is my own creation, so <laughs> it's uh, I feel like it's uh, okay to to use that, and I don't feel like I'm cheating. Cool. Oh, actually, look, that one there actually is floating. So let's just. Let's just bring the ground up around that a little bit there. There we go. Cool. Oh, that's looking pretty nice, isn't it? It's quite epic in a way, that. Right, so foliage. It's come together quite nicely, I'll be honest. This, um, this uh, oh, excuse me, there's a sudden bang here. I have no idea what that was. It's quite mysterious. It's never good, is it, when you're just sitting in a room on your own and something makes a loud bang? Hopefully it's not my house about to blow up. <laughs> right, um, yeah, so the foliage, um, I want it nice and dense, uh, but at the same time not so that it's hiding too much. Um, I want to use these trees, but sort of use them like bushes. That was my thinking all along. So kind of getting this stuff so it's looking like it's really in amongst the trees. Uh, let's just have a look back here. Um, yeah, see this corner here, I can probably get an even bigger one in here to really try and hide that. Actually, I can probably go with a, a tree, a proper tree tree here. Kind of right, right in that gap there. 
yeah cool okay right the beach is looking good I do want some slightly different shades so some different colors um, we've got the ash that's a bit big let's try the smaller ash so slightly it's a different shade of green so it does it's gonna look good if it's used alongside this other stuff um, I could possibly use some of these like trees as well as bushes but yeah I, I do want it to look quite overgrown particularly at the back but I will maybe do a few at the front here as well okay let's go with that for now what was the other one here yeah oh yes the yew tree I think is mm, that is very dense I'm not sure about the yew I could maybe use the yew down here kind of thick foliage it moves a lot actually that yew doesn't it really sways that's cool as long as it's not blocking over here I'll have to check that I don't think it will be but yeah that, that does look really nice actually So the idea is that the animals have got lots of foliage to go and hide in. That's that's kind of the, the thinking behind it. I'm, I'm purely basing that on the enclosure that I saw um, at the, the place near me. I can't remember what it's called. The Fen Bell, I think it's called. It's I think it's actually a pub with a mini zoo attached to it. Um, here in, it's in the, uh, the southeast of England. And they've got these pinchrongs. And I seem to recall that their habitat was quite overgrown like this. And that's the kind of enclosure that they like. So that is what I'm trying to sort of duplicate here. Um, have we lost one? See, I like that. that they, they, you see, they can disappear up the back here and kind of vanish. I have no idea where the other one is. I'm wondering if... Uh, it might have gone to the vets. I'm just going to check this. I want to know where my other binturong is. Right, you're in there. Well, apparently they're both in there. Ah, sleeping in a bush. That's why I couldn't see it. There we go. See, that's perfect. That's exactly what I want. I want the animals to be able to disappear into the undergrowth if they want or come out to the front here and show off to the audience if they want to as well I think that's a good level of foliage I'm pretty happy with that it's very nice and green which is what I wanted just lots of lots of green right let's have a look at the water then shall we and I'm gonna get my my favorite rocks in here as is my my thing you know me Okay, good, good, good. Let's get um, what is it that I usually put? Is it the buffalo grass? No, 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 no. It's not. It's the elephant. Is it elephant ears? Uh, it, do you know? It might not actually have the word grass in it. Eel grass. Actually, that's a nice one. Let's go with that. That is nice. Let's. Uh, oh, that is a large. Okay. That's fine. Let's get a bit of that in there. Nice. I like that. I like that a lot. Uh, no, not wattle bush. What else have we got here? That's a nice bit of grass, isn't it, actually? Um, no, actually, I'll tell you what, I, I quite like. Yeah, some of this nice coloured stuff up here. Just want to make it a little bit more you know, natural looking. I like, I love this stuff. This is fantastic. One of the best pieces they added to the game were these these small wildflower patches. I just think they all look really, really good. They just add that extra layer of detail. Um, what do we got? I just, I just want a little bit more detail down by the water here little shrub there like that uh, not particularly keen on that what else have we got in the grasses 
uh, no, that's obviously not a grass, that's a tree. Uh, a little bit of papyrus, no, that's not very realistic, that wouldn't grow in England. I'm trying to keep it relatively realistic, a ghost fungus, interesting. Um, don't, don't mind that, actually, that's, that's alright, isn't it? It's not unrealistic that you'd have the odd little bit of flower like that. Ooh, that's that's beautiful. There we go. I think that that's probably all it needs. I like that. Oh, obviously it means that they can't swim in it, but they can still drink from it, which is the main thing. I'm going to assume they can anyway. Let's just make sure. Yes, they can still navigate all over the place. They can't actually go under there though, which is a bit disappointing. I can only assume that some of the trees that I have done that, but they can come up this way uh, and come up under here so that's fine um, I do just want to come in here and check our lemurs can still go everywhere and our badgers as well that's good where are the badgers no that's another lemur so if the badgers got on there you are just make sure yeah they can still come up here fine good so back to our binturongs um, so habitat is looking good they've got water they don't have a food tray shall I put down a food tray make sure I choose one that they can actually use small food tray. yeah they don't need anything big can I just pop it down here oh it's not gonna let me now is it so annoying back here maybe Get it in amongst all the flowers. No, let's let's lose those flowers so they can have their food tray back here. And it says it's accessible to the binturong. Wonderful. There we go. Let's just make sure that our staff can get to it. Um, how do the staff get to it? It says the staff can walk up there. <laughs> I'm not sure how that means that they can get to that because they can't. They can't walk past here okay well it'll be interesting to see if they use it or not um, I'm guessing maybe they won't I'll tell you what I am going to do is copy this because this was a little custom thing that I made for that habitat and I kind of like it uh, I think it looks really nice next to water like this just a tiny little detail like that I think makes a lot of difference there we go Excellent, I love that. That is a cool little piece actually that I made made there. How many pieces are in that? It's just yeah, three objects. There's not many, but it just looks cool. And it just adds a nice bit of detail to that. Okay, that's good. Let's um let's get some enrichment items in here. Uh, not a lot in the way of food enrichment, but let's uh, let's get what I can in. So let's give them a ball. And we've got one of these. Not sure if this is going to fit anywhere, to be honest, but let's put it there and hope. Ah, oh, no, inaccessible. That's disappointing. Yeah, I'm, I probably can't get that anywhere. I don't think, no, I'm not going to worry about that. Obviously, I can't get a forage box anywhere. That's fine, let's go with some toys. I definitely want them to have a rubbing pad. Um, somewhere. There we go. Rubbing pad under there. Can I fit <laughs> a rubber duck in here? Yes, I can. Look at that. It's a rubber duck. Let's, um, let's see if I can squeeze a little scent marker thing down there. No, that looks terrible. Let's not put it there. Let's uh, let's put that up here somewhere. There we go. Let's give them a cardboard box to play with, I think, up on their ledge here. And uh, let's give them a ball up here as well. Let's make this their toy shelf. That's cool. And then uh, give them another box, maybe right back here somewhere as well. Give them a reason to come up into this back corner. Why not? Got a tree root coming through the back fence there, but I don't mind that. Cool. Right, we're, we're basically there. It's a really simple enclosure, actually, that one. Um, I'm going to do the front 
with these same scarola bushes as well I'll just continue that theme because i really liked this actually i think that looks really cool actually i may have to check it here because i think these may block traversable areas so i will just check to see if that's affecting it or not no it's fine they can still go over there ah oh, do you know what i haven't done i haven't included them in a work zone have i that's why they're not getting fed uh, so staff work zones what did I have here this was uh, oh hang on where are we what was the last one that I did was it Lima's tapir and capybara no that's miles away okay hang on how do I how do I see the work zones again? Sorry, I'm just getting confused. Um, I want to edit a work zone. Is it? Is it this one? No, that's over there. So what is this work zone here? Is it Flamingo Pond? No. Foxes. I could add to that one, I suppose. Red Deer. No, that was over there. Reptile Habitats is there. Reptile Exhibit Animals. How about the, is it Farm 1 or Farm 2? No. butterflies so is there nobody feeding have I not put the lemurs and the badgers in a work zone are they starving to death uh, ooh, I have no idea how I find out what work zone they're in let's have a look maintenance work zones it's not been assigned to a work zone Okay, so who's looking after it? Badgers and lemurs. It's not in a work zone. There are way too many people here. <laughs> <laughs> there is some serious congestion going on here. Everyone is coming in to look at these guys. Has anybody actually fed them? Um... How do I find out if they're being looked after? The log. Overview. Keeper requested. You have no staff members assigned to work zone containing this habitat. So does that mean that they've never been fed? Or do I have someone who's not on a work zone no I don't I don't I, I'm completely lost I, I don't understand that at all because I've forgotten to add them to a work zone yet they are being fed somehow okay no I don't know uh, I'll tell you what I'm gonna do I'm gonna edit foxes and emus and I'm going to add this habitat and this habitat to it. So they're using they're using that that staff room and that keeper hut to do those four. That makes sense. That's good. And then I will get two new members of staff. There we go, and I will assign both of those two new people to foxes and emus. There we go, so they should now start getting fed and watered. That is bizarre, I have no idea quite how that happened and how those lemurs and badgers have not starved to death. But there we go, that's fine. Right, let's get in a, a talk point, I think, 
here see if I can make this work can throw food excellent there we go so we've got another talk point uh, you will do a little bit of media as well let's get a media screen in here a bit of binturong action going on on there cool okay looking good we are looking good that's a really nice habitat actually i'm very pleased with that really simple i mean it doesn't always take a lot of time to come up with a habitat you don't have to spend days and days designing these things sometimes um but that is exactly what i wanted it's um simple and effective a bit like me you know what it's uh yeah that's good that's exactly what a binturong would want um yes good here we go our staff member is actually going to go and feed them now very cool where's he go oh look at that they can run around there even though it said that they couldn't but he is actually going to go and fill that up that's interesting because it definitely says that he can't do that <laughs> there's no there's no running space there Never mind. i'm not complaining i mean he's filled it up with food and they're gonna hopefully go and eat it or they, uh, they've used their ball as well which is very cool it's all good great so there we go that is our last habitat so our zoo is now full up so i've got quite a lot of work to do off camera so i've got a few little bits like this um this bit here that i need to fill in i've got a whole load of little picture boards to do like these ones here to get the correct animals on them um, and the other thing that I was doing originally were these um, these things here so yeah I would like to continue them and get that done as well um, the, maybe the back of this building needs a bit of work as well I'm not too sure about that to be honest um, but generally oh yes I did have a, a little area here I need to put a little flower bed in there as well um, but yeah there's not not too much to do really oh yes and some signs I need to get these signs filled in don't I yes that would be good um, but yeah on the whole do you know what I've, I've had a lot of fun with this zoo um, I think it looks fantastic I really do I really like the style of it I, I'm very pleased with a lot of the things that I came up with but I will talk through that in the final episode so what I'll do I'll, off camera I will do those bits that I've mentioned and I will finish a bit of an edge as well with the uh, the trees so there's gonna be quite a lot of work to do off camera and then I'll come back and I'll show you what I've done I'll do a little walk through kind of discuss the habitats and everything as we go along so we'll do one final episode to finish it all off uh, and then I'll crack on and start my new project and maybe play some other games as well um, but yeah let's leave it there for now so what do you think do you like my little binturong habitat um, I'm pretty pleased with that if it even if I do say so myself um, so let me know what you think if you liked the episode and you want to support the channel then please do hit the like button for me uh, if you've got anything you want to say then please leave a comment and if you haven't yet then please do subscribe to my channel and share me with your friends as well that would be great uh, you can join me over on uh, Instagram and Twitter as well um, if you want to get your notifications on those because I do um, I do update whenever I release a new video and uh, yeah please uh, please do um, tell your friends about me if you've got other people that like watching planet zoo videos because um, i'm looking at trying to build the channel up a bit more um let's leave it there so thank you so much for your support and uh, all your kind words and hopefully i will see you once more for a final episode in oakland zoo before we start our new project and i have no idea what that one is going to be called just yet but we shall see but until then do take care and i will see you soon bye for now